Hello, I'm Raya, Director of Design and Communications for Nust Airworks. So this year, we decided to do something a bit different for our women in engineering. Take a look. So, why did I choose STEM? Growing up, I was hooked onto National Geographic. I was so fascinated by how much logic and ingenuity it takes to create anything, ranging from the Mars rover to a Mars bar. Women in STEM that I'm imbued with since my childhood is Marie Curie, the only woman to be awarded two Nobel Prize, one in physics and other in chemistry. I believe her work has led to a greater understanding of ionizing of radiations in atomic structures. The person I really looked up to was Arfa Rintava, who besides holding a Guinness World Record for being the youngest Microsoft certified professional at the age of nine, was also one of the brightest rising minds in Pakistan's IT sector before she tragically passed away at the age of 16. However, she continues to be an inspiration for me till date. So, here's the thing. People just assume that you, being a girl, won't really make it that far. So, we have to keep proving our self-worth throughout our career life. In our culture, women are generally held more responsible, not only for their household, but also the upbringing of their children. This, coupled with their career requirements, does become a really difficult task. The difficulties that I faced have also been due to the rigid attitude, the prejudice that people have against female engineers. But you have to counteract that, you have to adapt to this field, become flexible. Because as STEM is changing, the mindset of people is also changing and you have to learn the tricks and trades of this industry, not become discouraged easily, but keep bouncing back from it, never giving up. I'm really glad that I'm standing at a point where my parents are proud of me. Also, I'm really glad that I joined the software department at Air Airworks where I got to learn a lot of new stuff like single board computers and machine learning. All of it is stuff that I'm really passionate about. And one personal accomplishment that I'm proud of is stepping into a man-dominated professional field and breaking all those stereotypes associated with the modern woman. But my advice is to the girls and women out there who want to pursue a career in STEM is that don't give up. If STEM is your passion, if science, technology, engineering and medicine excites you, then this is for you. And in any field, there are challenges and in any field, there will be loads of people who will encourage you. And uh, But at the same time, there will be people who do not. But you have to understand that it's not about what other people think, but it's rather about what you want to do with your life. And if this is your purpose, if this is your calling, then you should go for it. If you have a passion for something, go for it. Go all the way. Because right now, what the world, and especially Pakistan needs, isn't doctors or engineers or lawyers. It needs people who have a vision beyond themselves to improve the world and move times forward. I would still recommend to the younger girls that do not get demotivated just because of the unjust norms of your society. If you truly have the will, you are actually halfway there. It's, 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 it's just a matter of realizing your potential and speaking up for yourself because if you do that, no one will even dare to stop you. Just remember as women in them. Together, Together we, we can. can.